Well, folks, it's another lovely Canadian morning because today we're finally back here in Mombazul. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, Komodo, where the heck has this game been? Well, to be honest with you, I've been waiting for an update, and there actually is an update coming. I don't have a timeline for it. Uh, there is a new car coming, which I'm gonna flash it up on screen. It's like a little teaser uh, that Santa Goat has put out. And I feel like we're gonna need to get some money because, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of performance parts and infinite ways to spend money on that car. Like, I'm kind of curious. Is it gonna be another, like, junkyard-style car? I'm hoping it is. Uh, by the way, here's our two awesome vehicles here. We have the off-roading one, and we have our street tuned beast here. I'm gonna call it a beast. I mean, it's it's all right. Probably could be a little bit better. I got some rusty bolts back in there. Uh, I need to actually adjust the suspension. I want to race uh, in some more street racing. Uh, that way we can make some money. Now, one thing I haven't done in a long time, I haven't really messed much with the sugar shack. Which, by the way, that's where you make maple syrup for anybody that's not seen this series. But, I mean, we have better ways of making money. <laughs> cough, cough. Uh, oh, Han. Cough, cough. And, uh, well, give me another second. I mean, it's not as impressive as a lot of people's setups uh, that they have in the game. But we have this and we have a buttload outside. Uh, so I should probably uh, make a drop off because it's going to be a while before we can go street racing. Oh, we're just going to go over here and uh, have a lovely little day here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yep, got a lot of these. I uh, got a ton of these outside. Okay, got to plan all those back. I mean, this isn't going to make us, like, infinitely rich. But I, my goal is to be, like, when the update comes out, maybe about... 15,000? So yeah, I mean, there's a lot to do here. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna tune the car today, go enter some street races, that way maybe we can make some extra dough. And if you guys want to see more of this on the channel, maybe some episodes that we can do in between, comment down below. Be curious what you guys come up with. Uh, I love this game uh, a lot. It's like one of my all-time favorite games. It's just all fact of, yeah, I didn't abandon it. It was just, gotta have some content to be able to do since we've already done everything in the game. I mean, look at that. We got a race car. We got our uh, little buggy there. Uh, the ATV, I think, is in town somewhere. You got our big jacked up truck and our two cars. I mean, I would say that we've done quite a bit. So we just need another vehicle. Okay, we're packing up here, and then we'll do a huge pack, hopefully. And I think I got a little bit more on the table, and I think I have some out in one of the vehicles here. Okay, let's put this into here. Mm, oh, hello, Leo. How are you? Uh, love you. Uh, by the way, uh, we know where we store the rest of this. Boom. <laughs> I got this stuff everywhere. There we go. Big pack. <laughs> All right. I mean, I was thinking about taking the truck, but I think we can fit this in the car. Uh, Leo might not be able to ride with us. Actually, you know what? Uh, we're gonna take the one that we're gonna adjust here. Uh, I could fit this in here. Yeah, I just now realized, can I delete these back seats? I probably have asked this before. Uh, I know my other one doesn't have back seats, but I think that was, wait, is that the back seat or is that in the suspension? Oh yeah, why have I not done this before? This is weight reduction. Like, I don't even remember how much this weighs, but hold on, like, can I rip it out now? I know I could sleep in it, but I don't want to be able to, I don't need to sleep in this car. I need weight reduction. Also, I had it trunk space. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm fat, obviously. So if we put this on here, how much weight was this? Like, oh, 25? Is that like, I don't think it's pounds. What in Canada land, what's your unit of measurement when it comes to weight? Uh, we can totally stick that back. Uh, why does that not fit there? You know, let's just stick it in the, where the back seat was. There we go. But yeah, this is uh, fairly upgraded. Uh, we've got the like race doors on here. Honestly, I might delete the. I got a pat. Oh, I don't even have a passenger seat in this one. Uh, yeah, I, I want to take Leo. You know, we'll take Leo for this. But before we go racing, we'll, we'll delete that seat. We want as much weight reduction as possible. I'm gonna get under it real quick, and I'm gonna play with the suspension just a little bit. Yeah, I feel like these wheels are just a little too, like, cambered out. I don't really like it. I'm going to stand them up just a tiny bit. I feel like it's a little too aggressive. So let's go 35 in the front. We've got... We'll go 36 in the back. A little more camber in the rear wheels. All right, Leah, you want to come to town with me? Here. Come on, buddy. Jump in the car. We'll go get you some dog food or something. Been a while since I've, uh, I've driven... <laughs> in this game. Hopefully I'm not too rusty. I forgot I can play with the remote. All right, well, you get one more ride in this vehicle and then we're gonna have to uh, change what we're doing here. Might even stop by the uh, local parts store to go see if we can find some more parts. Need to check my nitrous. There we go. Oh yeah, she sounds good. All right, take that off there. Let's drop her in reverse. 
Uh, been a while since I've driven in the game. I hope we don't end up in the water. Like, I need this vehicle for later tonight or tomorrow. I don't know which day we're going to wind up racing, but here we go, man. It feels pretty good being back in this game. All right. Let's do a little bit of testing. I do have traction control on right now. Uh, we might adjust with the uh, the settings. It's in the glove box. Uh, I'm just going to get a feel for it again. Get used to driving the car. I mean, it's still pretty aggressive. There's a lot of power uh, to the rear wheels. Oh, watch out, buddy. I think we'll stop by the uh, auto parts store first in order to maybe grab a couple of the items. I feel like, didn't I have a race wheel on? Oh my goodness, sorry. Uh, I want like a race wheel on this one. Uh, I feel like that's that's a thing. It is on the other one. Also, we're probably about to pass the famous maple syrup that I've left in the road since probably like the first couple episodes. Hold on, is it still here? Honestly, it's been since April since I played this game. Yep, there it is. <laughs> You'll love to see it. I am never going to remove that. That's going to stay here. As long as I play this game on the channel, that is staying in that same exact spot. But yeah, I'd love to uh, get going again on this. I think the maple syrup ultimately is the bigger payoff. Because uh, if you get those tanks full, you get that residual and it's amazing. All right. So here we are at the lovely store. Uh, Leo, you want anything? Um, I don't think they have dog food here, but uh, you'll be fine. All right. Park and break on. All right, let's go out here. First, gotta check that NOS tank. What are we, uh, what are we setting at? Is that... Oh, we're actually running a little low. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bottle. I guess I'll leave the bottle in the back. Or can I refill it here, or do I have to buy another tank? I think I can refill it. It's been forever since I've actually done this. This is cool. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. All right, recharge. $69.99, of course. Uh, I can always buy more bottles. And make it where you do a dual bottle setup. All right, so we got that. Uh, man, it's been a while since I've seen this guy. What's up, Roger? Um, looking for... I need to pick up one of these race steering wheels, too. Uh, anything else that I need? I think we're good on everything else. Uh, I might eventually convert the other one. I have it kind of set as an off-roader. Uh, right now, which is pretty cool, but I still like uh, going with your guys' ideas. So if you were to like adjust the other build, I'm gonna leave this one the same. This is like my street setup here, slash like race car. But but I would love to hear what you guys think as far as the other vehicle if we wanted to ever adjust it. All right, Leo, we're gonna go out on a little run over to the farm, uh, drop off this package, and then we'll head back to the post office. Uh, I think I need to buy him some food. I, he's got some food at the house, but. Yeah, gotta make sure Leo's taken care of. Maybe he wants some treats or something while he's out here. Oh, yeah, let's go. Jeez, okay. Oh, man, she's still a little darty, especially under, like, heavy throttle. Uh, the back end, it just kicks the car around. Like, I'm assuming we just, we're dealing with a lot of power here. Uh, I do hope eventually we get, like, another, oh, jeez, racetrack. Uh, that'd be really nice. Say, like, a track that's got a little bit longer, like, straightaways and stuff where speed matters a bit more. I believe this is our turn off right here. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna die of anxiety here. All right. Uh, first gear. Oh my goodness. Okay. This was not a good idea. I probably should have taken the off-roading version of this. Okay, we just gotta ease up here. We gotta minimize the wheel spin. Just nice and easy. Yeah, we are making a mistake. We. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You know what we should have picked up? We should have picked up some color. Uh, like, I, I kind of want to go back to my red and black. That was kind of like my OG scheme. Uh, once we cleaned up all the rust on this turd bucket. All right, here are my favorite shady people. Let's go ahead and sell here, make a little bit of money. Leo, you might want to stay in the car for this. They don't have any sort of snack. Well, actually, they might have snacks, but those are not the snacks that you want. Okay, here we go. And boom, sweet. All right. You know, it's been so long, I forgot how much those packs got. I could have swore it was like 7,000. I don't know why I had that in my head that that's how much that was but oh yeah definitely worth it it just takes a long time to work up to the huge pack that's why i do think the maple syrup especially considering how advanced our uh, operation is even though i haven't done it in forever like i don't even think i'm getting residual anymore but yeah it is well worth it all right we got to make a pit stop here get some maple syrup my guy is awfully thirsty uh, it's okay. We're just, we're, we're that thirsty. We'll just grab all these out. You know, I better take one of these for the road. Got some at the house, but it's always good to have it on you. Plus, uh, I think I need some caffeine. I gotta stay up tonight if I plan on street racing. I think I'm trying to give myself some sort of heart attack on all the Tim Hortons. Oh, here, how about you take this one? Th this one's on the house there, buddy. All right, I'm just gonna grab this red right here. You don't mind if I spray paint this in your driveway, right? Like, that's cool. You know, I also wonder, like, where are we going to get that new car from? I wonder if we're going to just buy it off somebody instead of finding it. I don't know. Uh, let's spray this. Oh, that metallic. Um, is this finally blending? There it goes. Dude, that is like a 
deep. That's like a, I would call it more like a candy red. I think it's called like candy apple. Like, look at the shine on that. I mean, besides the fact that we have like carbon doors and stuff like that, there's nothing I can do about those there. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty freaking beautiful. Uh, I like this a whole lot. Okay, let's hit the front bumper up here. That's a zero. Might have some of my gloss on that bumper a little wrong. I think we're gonna keep the roof black though. I, I do actually really like that look. Should we street race with the dog in the car? I mean, I was talking about going home and stripping the seat out, but we're already here. By the time I run home and then run back, I feel like, I mean, it's kind of a waste of time. Plus the dog might enjoy it, I don't know. Okay, 10, I think we can go zero. Hold on, let's tint our windows real quick. Uh, let me get the remover here. Uh, I think I have one of these tools somewhere. I'm gonna get your spanner. Uh, I know I'm wasting money right here. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change out that steering wheel. Gonna make this my own little like personal workshop. I don't think I had the darkest tint on this car. So let's go and rip those off there. We need an inventory system, like a backpack where we can like maybe keep some of the smaller tools. Oh my goodness, that zero tint is absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not legal where I'm actually at. I might have to stop by the poutine place too and also get me some of that. All right, let's rip this steering wheel off, put the new one on. Jacques, you want a steering wheel? Um, I mean, I better keep it. You never know. Zig about getting rid of that bad boy. Where's my new steering wheel? Did I leave it at the store? Oh no. I didn't leave it at the new store. Wait, did I leave it over there? There's no way. I could have swore I loaded it up in the car. If I left it over there, there's probably somebody face palming right now going Komodo left the stupid thing over there. No, wait, did it fall out? There's a chance that it might've fallen out. Hold on, look back there. Either I left it in the store, which I don't know why, I could have swore I loaded it up in the car, or it might've warped out of the, is it under there? Under your seat, Leo? Oh my goodness, I might have to walk over to the store and buy another steering wheel. I mean, to be fair, he's got some too. Hold on, let's move this forward. Did it fall back here? I'm so confused as to where that went. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure I might have left it. I mean, this will work too. This is another race wheel. We're gonna blame that on YouTube revision. I have that quite a bit. I, I miss stuff all the time because I'm commentating over something and then my audience finds it and they're like, wow, this guy's a freaking idiot, which I would actually agree. Uh, okay, let's go get some poutine real quick and then we'll set up for the, uh, the old street race here. Uh, might need more caffeine. I'm a little anxious though at the moment. Oh, let's light it up. Yeah, we're gonna have to adjust that traction. I feel like it's a little too strong, not too bad. So if I punch it from first here, uh, traction's on, hit the brakes. My ABS, I think I still have, you know, this car might actually still have brake issues. Uh, that ABS light turns on. I bet you I haven't fully hooked that up on this car. Uh, I know one of them's like completely fine, but it might be this one. I mean, to be fair, probably not gonna have to use the brakes too much, but uh, that's probably something I need to do. I need to redo the brake job on here. That's so strange. Uh, by the way, is my wheel out here? No, it's not. Yeah, I legit think when I hit something on the road back on the way to the farm, I lost my wheel. All right, well, there ain't much I can do about that right now. I mean, we, at least we got a wheel on. All right, let's look at our settings here. ECU tuning. All right, our boost. Uh, what do you say we try to go like max boost on this thing? We'll keep, oh yeah, no, we have an ABS intensity. I don't wonder if that's helping me. Maybe I do have the brakes set right on this one. Uh, let's cut that in half. I'm gonna leave my traction control at 10. Let's go nail the throttle. I might not even need the NOS to be honest with you. All right, let's, uh, let's go from a dig here. Let's see if uh, what this thing's got. All right, any traffic coming? Sorry if there's traffic coming. All right, here we go. And, oh, uh, second gear. Oh man, it's just a lot of lag. It's that traction control is just trying to get it. Yeah, okay. Um, I might turn it down just a little bit, see if we can get a little bit more. I mean, the key of the street races here, since the AI is kind of dumb, uh, you need to get off the line first. Also, this thing looks gorgeous uh, in the light here. What's up, man? I'm just gonna buy some of this poutine and eat it real quick. There you go. How are you, Mr. Chef? You look good today. <laughs> Why, thank you. I don't even know what I look like. I think I'm wearing a blue shirt. Uh, I think I switched shirts this morning. Uh, this is beautiful. They need to have like a thing in the game where you can like take pictures of your car and like, I don't know, make posters or something out of it. Or I put my, my really like bad Instagram tag, which by the way, I have an actual Instagram if you want to see me in real life. And you can see my, my two cars. Uh, that's kind of cool too. But yeah, I'd be nice if you like put like decorative stuff like that on there. I don't think I need my NOS right now. Hold on, let's go down two on the traction here. 
It's okay, we just bought some poutine. We're just gonna do a nice little dig outside of this guy's uh, shop. You know he's probably impressed, right? All right, let's go neutral. Let's check handbrakes off. All right, hold on, Leo. And there's, okay. Second pool's a little better now. Uh, third gear. Okay, third gear, that initial shift is a little sideways, but I think that's pretty manageable. Okay, you know, I think we're good for the meet tonight. Uh, really, the only thing I can do is get rid of... I wonder, does Leo actually have weight properties in this game? I know the seat does. Uh, obviously, it's kind of heavy. Uh, but I wonder if the having the dog in here, does that actually affect it? That'd be kind of cool if it did. All right, now we play the waiting game and hope that I don't fall asleep before this all happens. You know, now that I think about it, I wonder if the seat in the back, do you have to commit to sleeping the whole time or can you take naps? Yeah, I didn't think about that. All right. Let's just wait here. All right, it should be time to go here. Me and Leo are ready to roll up. Getting kind of tired here, so probably, I think I could only do one race, actually. All right, the boys are back. Uh, let's just go and pull over here. I don't know who are racing here today. I think we could take them all. I mean, I might miss a checkpoint or, or two and die, but it's fine. I'm gonna trust that the dogs got me covered here. All right, so I wanna race against Tom here to the farm. That's a thousand bucks right there. All right, Tom. Uh, what you got? Oh, man, I heard the turbo. Is that a Evo? Oh, yeah. All right, Leo. We might have our uh, our work cut out for us here. So hopefully I don't miss any checkpoints here. All right, here we go. Boom. Uh, wait for the countdown. And green. Okay. There's first gear. And we're immediately turned. Let's not get turned by the guy. Uh, oh, he is right on our tail here. Ooh, okay, we're going to turn right. There he goes. He's, oh, he just clipped us. Can I spin him out? Okay, let's just ease into it. Oh, geez, this car. Okay, I should have left some of the traction on. Oh, you know what? This is going to be... Wait, that's the farm? Oh, go straight. There we go. <laughs> I won 2,000. I thought going out to the farm was going to be a lot further out. They need to make these races longer. I hope that's something that in the new update we get more, like, racing. Uh, did he just shut his car off in shame? What's up, dude? Um... Did you get whooped up on? Wow, that look. Even though he's got, like, no expression on his face. Well, uh, we did the thing. We have, uh, won a race here. One of thousand... I mean, we actually made quite a bit of money this episode. Still some things I'd like to change with the car itself. But let me know what you guys think we should do next. And we'll see you guys next time.